Hey guys, welcome back to live trading day. We are trading NQ futures and we are a little bit after market open here. We're actually going to be starting it with just a regular arm, both in trend mode. We're trying to catch this breakout here. You actually could also use auto arm for this exact same purpose here, but we're trading off of this absorption line that just formed as well as this green support and resistance line. We're getting a general uptrend throughout the day. So we're going to try and take advantage of that. You can see here, we actually got our first trade filled there. So that is going to be leading us into a pretty nice long trade. You can see here that we're maintaining very strong delta throughout this entire bar, giving us pretty good confirmation, sorry, this entire move, giving us pretty strong confirmation that we're going to stay inside trend mode. Usually NQ is very whippy, but however, it hasn't really been the case, at least at this market open, we're seeing pretty consistent delta and price correlation here as well. So we're going to maintain this. We've also sized up our position to seven contracts of NQ now. So we should get a pretty good, we have a little bit more leverage than we usually have been trading. I think it's important for us to continue to stay that growth mindset and we're not trying to get stagnant. We're definitely taking some risks by doing that. However, that's just what needs to be done when we're trading. And trading in Q is actually a little bit different than ES once again. So pretty much just going to be riding and trying to just take advantage of any explosive momentum that happens here. So as long as we're getting a consistent uptrend and we're not really seeing a ton of resistance, we're going to keep it in trend mode. See there, we got a really nice fill into a long trade. Pretty great fill there. You can see that we've gotten in kind of an area of chop here. We're gonna be making sure that we get even more than one consecutive, I'm sorry about that. Looks like we got filled into a trade already, so no action is taken there. We did get one small red bar here, so we're gonna always be keeping an eye out for that. Of course, we are gonna be rearming it and keeping it in trend mode. So here I do want to point out, we're going to be watching this area of absorption really closely as well as this one right here. And see here that we're starting to get a little bit of slip here. If this bar closes red, probably going to have to switch it into regression mode. If we get two red bars inside of this fill, we're probably also going to be doing the same thing. See the slope of increase is getting less and less as we continue upward. Pretty solid fill there, and we got pushed into a consecutive long trade here. Of course, we are going to be arming it in both directions once again. Super close to a fill here. You know, unfortunately, I think we're gonna be have to put it into aggression here unless we get filled on this trade. See a little bit of chomp start to form here, and I think this is the culmination of that, especially with the formation of these red resistance lines here. I'm going to tighten my stop just a little bit to try and neutralize some risk here because if it gets all the way down to that point, I think that's the point of no return for this strong breakout. Fortunately there, we actually got stopped out of that trade. Immediately, we do actually get put into another long trade, which is pretty interesting. However, it is inside of the range, so I'm liking what we're seeing in regards of where our entry is. Once again, I want you guys to always be looking at Delta down here, making sure you're observing what's happening with the market or the internals of the market. I'd say this is actually a pretty important key level now, especially with the formation of that red resistance line there, as well as the absorption at the zero column up here. Of course, we are going to be keeping it inside of regression mode, especially because we are inside of this very obvious zone of chop. Today is a great example of when exactly to use regression mode and when exactly to use trend. Also guys, hope is not lost for a no delay live stream coming up. Just getting back into the swing of things, I am gonna be do keeping with the delay for a little bit of time now, but I'm saying mid July is really when we're actually gonna get into it. And we'll be doing that regularly. Sorry about that guys, I just gotta get all my you know, all my ducks in the line before we uh, get that set in. But pretty much we should be good to go. I am in the process of obtaining my Series 7 and I am actually almost completed with that process. Should actually be able to do that now without getting in any trouble. So thank you guys for your patience. It's just taken a little bit more time than I thought it would. We actually just got filled into another long trade immediately after that. I'm sorry, not immediately after, after a little bit of a delay there so our a profit is right at this previous resistance line that was set up by this bar 
our stop loss is within the range. So I like what this trade is. It's a pretty good setup. Wish this range was a little bit tighter, but should be able to get a pretty good scalp here. Looks like we have a pretty good chance of winning this trade. And I think if we win this trade, we're probably gonna call it a day. All right, yeah, that's $5,024 on the day. I'd say that is a pretty great start to the week and a great start to get back into the swing of things on live streaming. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And I really appreciate you guys' patience and understanding with why I haven't been able to get back into it. Appreciate you guys and stay tuned for some more live streaming content coming up, as well as some video content and some instructional videos that are actually dedicated to teach you guys more about how to use the strategy.